Hi viewers, welcome to the very first episode of Talk the Talk, brought to you by Arewa Cafe. My name is Asia Rodrigo. And I am Haula Tahir. Talk the Talk features amazing people from northern Nigeria who are doing groundbreaking work. And today we are chatting with Ahmed Idris, who is the founder of Steam Ledge Limited. Hi Hello, Ahmed. Hello Asia. Hello Haula. Can you tell us a little bit about your company and what your company does? Okay, um, Steam Ledge Limited is a um, technology company. So what we're specializing is um, something we call creative computing. So creative computing is a subject that we actually created to mentor this upcoming generation to become the inventors of the technology they consume. So um, which basically translates to them being able to create the cartoons they watch, to be able to make the games they play themselves. You know, uh, for example, um, you uh, um, will hear like in China, a 10 year old kid made the game, you know, like um, all those things. So it's, it's not a lie, it's true. They just have this early access. So that's what we give these kids in primary and secondary schools. So how did you come up with this idea? Um, well, it wasn't really like we sat down and brainstormed this. It was um, from a personal experience. Basically, um, I went to primary and secondary school here in northern Nigeria. I went to one of the best, I believe, and um, I was quite all right in the educational, you know, parts. I got good grades, you know, finished almost top of the class all the time. But I actually, you know, passed everything because I know how to retain information, that's all. But then I went abroad to basically to an Ivy League university to study electronics and communication. What we did there was, um, it was basically hands-on robotics, you know, um, electronics, you know, we worked on the network reel for the United Kingdom. And um, it was some really real hands-on projects that had industry, you know, connected to Jaguar Land Rover and all that. So I really struggled personally because I had to compete with the best of Chinese, the best of Britain. Yes, it, it was competitive. Of course, they were all smart. It was competitive in a way that, you know, they already had this prior knowledge that I didn't, and um, which was the hands-on knowledge of this electronics and robotics and programming, basically, you know, the coding and everything. And I had to start learning my first line of code when I was in undergraduate level. And then they probably had apps on, on, on Google Store, they already had made you know, products that sold in the market. So that made me really behind. I had to really play catch up. So um, after I finished and I came back, um, I decided, um, I met a friend who had similar experience, which we came together to actually say, okay, why not let's set up a company that we could give ser these um, services and mentor this upcoming generation to basically not go through what we went through to basically be able to go anywhere in the world and compete healthily with anybody just because we can. Can you maybe give us a number? Yeah, um, as of the last time we counted, we handled over 2,000 students per week. 2000? Yes, 2,000. In in no, in Kano alone, wow. we handle over 2,000 students. So in Jigawa, we, signed, so we have signed a partnership with the um, Jigawa State Institute of Information Technology, which is known as the Informatics. And um, we're going to, you know, um, do similar programs with them. We're going to mentor the students to become, um, basically to become product owners. They have learned the soft skills. Now we're going to basically mentor them to be able to make products that will sell in the real market. So basically. That's amazing. So our kids that are being trained by you are being content creators. Yes. And innovating their own technology. Is Ex that it? Exactly. So tell us about some of the projects they're making when they complete your curriculum. Okay. So um, they make a lot of projects. So we have a very, very diverse curriculum. So um, what we do is every term of every academic session, they learn something different. 
So we start them off with uh, probably the um, beginner's course of um, block programming and then we move on, you know, probably to web design. I'm not saying how the curriculum is because I haven't memorized it. Right now we have a backroom staff that work on just the curriculum of about 25 people. So they work on the curriculum and the content all the time that we go through. So, you know, when you're setting up a company, if you could hire people that, would, that you would tell what to do, then I think you're doing it wrong. I hire people to tell me what to do, basically. So, so I hire some people that are really smarter than me. So I'm probably one of the least smartest in the company right now. Yet you were smart enough to start your own company, right? It's not about smarts. We just started it and then... And, you know, they started it, they set the pace, you know, Intercontinental joined in, Sunflower joined in, Gateway joined in, um, Crescent joined in, Prime College, Prime joined in, you know, and then, um, and so on and so forth, you know. So we've even moved on to see, okay, how can we give the services to public schools? So we now decided to start up a, a separate NGO company called Steam Ledge Community. So, so, so we just task our staff to just donate free, free teaching hours every term. Um, and then we, we adopt a, a government school for the term. And those staff donate their free teaching hours. And we as a company donate other resources, other excess resources, you know? Yes, so that they get to be taught these things. So. Um, it's still a bit slow, but we've done um, risk cost model school. Yes, on Amadebelloe. We've done um, Gofar Kudu. Gofar Kudu at the MS Palace. We are, we've done um, this Taroni government secondary school on Taroni. So those are the three schools that we've done so far. To me, it's really inspiring that I you know people, away, honestly, yeah, and people I are embracing it. It's yeah, fantastic yeah. that so many schools are embracing it. So many people in yeah. um, undergraduate studies are coming forward to want to be part of this as well. So I just want to again ask you: so, what specifically can a child do, having gone through your program? What kind of application can they make? What sort of technology can they create? What can, can they, they program? That other, that other what can they can sell? Do. Okay, so basically. Um, as I was beginning to um, explain the curriculum. So for a kid that has gone through our program, they can be able to deploy projects from start to finish. When I say project, I mean software and hardware projects. You know, we have different applications. Um, we, 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 um, we put students on a different line. We have animation. They can work with um, software tools like um, Unity 3D. They can um, work on uh, VR content development as a virtual reality. You know, they can create the content. Um, um, we use um, we use other um, animation tools like um, Blender 3D. We use um, we use SketchUp. We use even we use even Revit for the architectural designs. They learn it. Um, I know so the architecture students learn it in university, some, but, uh, but at least those that have the interest learn it now and they can do so many projects. They can create gaming environments that could be program programmed if that's the path that you go. If you want to go into ha um, hardcore programming, we have students that have gone really deep in Python programming. You know, they can really deploy real projects. And there are some that have done... Um, um, hardware projects where they could work on traffic light systems in some schools, you know. Um, they can design a traffic light system and program it from start to finish. That's amazing. I'm so happy I, that our I kids are doing this. Yeah, and it looks like they're going to be, you, you know, they're going to be um, uh, creating their own jobs. I don't yeah. think they need to wait for any uncle or anybody else to give them work. <laughs> Why uncle? So, or auntie. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that's so, what I hope. I hope that, you know, I'm, I'm inspired by your vision and I'm sure yeah. our viewers are as well. Thank you so much for joining us on Thank Ariel you Cafe. So Talk to Talk, Ahmed. Much. I'm so I look forward to seeing the projects coming right. Thank as well. you for having me. And thank you all for watching us on Talk the Talk by Arewa Cafe. Please like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.